the best basketball players on earth playing minimal defense. <laughs> I mean, unless you count the time Isaiah and the East teammates, you know, they spent 1985 denying MJ the ball. But other than that, the NBA All-Star game, great fun. Great fun. Isaiah was later frozen out of the original Dream Team at the mm -hmm. 1992 Olympics. Today's NBA players are lovey-dovey, lovey-dovey all the time. And NBA All-Star weekend is their Woodstock <laughs> to Phoenix. <laughs> now here comes yeah. LeBron in transition. With the left, he had seven points in the first quarter. Yes, Meanwhile, Kobe didn't play much in last year's All-Star game. He had the injured finger. Looked good oh. early. The steal by Chris Paul, and then the bounce back to Kobe finishing. Flying through, and then he gets all up in there with the two hands. Labor later in the first, down the lane, get out of the out. Nobody's taking a charge in this one. Four minutes to go in the third. Shaq, pass, oh, the give oh. go. Chris Paul right through Howard's legs, and Shaq finishing. Look at him, he's all joyful. How, what are you talking, O'Neal? He's oh. got the ball. Whoops. What are you going to do? I'm going to do that. Bounce it through you to Paul and back. We now uh, join the portion of the game where it's let's hurry up and finish this thing so we can get on our private jet. The game is no longer in question. You see the score 136 114 mm. West. Parker to Paul. Look at that. Point guard to point guard, alley oop. And then they clear the court to let LeBron. Maybe this is a precursor of next year's slam dunk contest in Dallas. LeBron said he might participate. <laughs> There it is, final score 146 119. Shaq and Kobe, co MVPs. Oh, Brian, that's sweet. Yep, contrived or real? Yeah. Good 27 points for Kobe, 17 for Shaquille O'Neal, and the West dominating the Eastern Conference at the All Star game held in Phoenix.